The idea of men using women's bathrooms and vice versa is controversial, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. And that's the subject of today's idea of the day. By now, we've all followed the controversy that started, I think, in West Virginia over their initial banning of men using women's bathrooms and vice versa. And the concept there was simply this, that there are people who identify themselves as a woman or as a man who feel uncomfortable using the other restroom. So because somebody identifies themselves as a woman, they feel they should be able to use a woman's bathroom. Now, I'm not here to argue about that, but the interesting thing about that is it implies a few other things. Specifically, sports. If a man feels that he identifies himself as a woman, or a woman identifies herself as a man, and we open the door up to let them use different services, facilities like bathrooms that are for the other gender, uh, why not open the door up for them to participate in each other's sports? Now, I've already had an idea today where I talked about the concept that women should be allowed to play in men's sports. And by doing that, I'm essentially advocating that we eliminate the word men's sports from the definition, so that there would just be the Major League Baseball, Major League Basketball, the National Football League, etc. And they would, in fact, just be gender neutral. And if a woman can make it into a man's team, so be it. Essentially, what I'm really saying here, if you read between the lines, is that it really shouldn't be a gender in sports. And that for the same reason that uh, a woman who identifies herself as a man should be able to play in the men's uh, uh, baseball and football and, and basketball, if they identify themselves or not, that's the point. Even if they don't identify themselves, if the fact that we would even open up the, those gender barriers just because somebody identifies themselves as in the other gender, if they are physically capable of playing, whether they re regard themselves as male or female, and they want to play in the other venue, why not allow them? Now, I could definitely see a reason why maybe you wouldn't want to have some very masculine man playing in, let's say, women's weightlifting or, or bodybuilding or something like that, because there are certain barriers. But fundamentally speaking, uh, we should open up those barriers and allow people to play in the sport that they just simply identify themselves with. But it's, it's not like, a, hey, they have to play in that league. You got to let them in. No, they have to just make the team, just like everybody else. You can't just sign up for the Yankees because you're a woman and say, well, you got to let me in. No. If you make the cut, if you're a good player, you should be allowed to play. And that's the way it works. And that's today's idea of the day. All right. So that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day. Every day. Yeah. Some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day. Brand new one. And some of my videos don't suck either.